Well, everybody who's here today will be on that board. Yeah. Well done. Hi, John. Good to see you. Lovely to see the style. Well done. James Garvin, how are you? How are you, my friend? Looking forward to seeing you. How are you, buddy? Good. We've just put some things together just to give you, um, first of all, it's just a club tie. Uh, and then each of you will have an individual envelope which will have a bit of information about the project. And we've, we've sourced a match report from your first game for Edinburgh, which we've included in here as well. John, we've got your first game as captain, which is in here, which is actually your debut. 18, um, when was that, John? So, <laughs> I started to hand these out. Well, to be honest, I, I, I didn't quite appreciate that um, it was nearly 150 years. I mean, that, that really is quite something. Um, I have to say, I, I first started playing over 50 years ago myself. Um, so it, it, it's pretty hard to believe, but when you look at the tradition of Edinburgh, uh, I mean, we've just been talking with the lads about when, when we played, you know, the, the game was obviously amateur. And, um, and it, was, it was a huge honour to, to play for your district. Identify every single player ever played for Edinburgh in history, and basically note their debut, tally up the number of appearances they've made, uh, and create the kind of ultimate Edinburgh rugby list going back to the, the birthplace of the club um, as a representative site. It's a sort of mixed emotions, it's quite humbling uh, and I think you've done a fantastic job, I think it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, it's when you see the programme, I think I was 1981, it's 40 odd years ago, I mean, that's the humbling bit. As a, a young man I remember being aware of, of the history and, and people like John Douglas and obviously Andy, um, you know, coming before me and having, you know, the, the adulation of the Murrayfield crowd and, and whatever. But, um, you know, playing for Edinburgh, of course, was, was, you know, it was an interesting thing because, of course, you played against each other, a bit like the Lions coming together once every four years. It was the same that all these rivals yeah. were coming together and uh, you just had to sort of get rid of all that sort of rivalry and, and try and play your best for Edinburgh. I mean, I know exactly yeah. who John is. Everybody knows John Douglas. He's a, he is a fantastic guy. Yeah. Um, but uh, John was uh, finished by the time. I mean, I think John finished in the early 70s. Yeah, yeah. John played for the Lions in, in 1962. Yeah. I, I was only in primary five at school then. Um, and, you know, nine years later, uh, I'm playing in the same side as him. I mean, it, it was really quite. I, I, I just turned 19. I think John was 36. I can remember the first game with David, and he he played on the, the wing, and he couldn't throw the ball, and I put him out to the centre at half time, and he had a fantastic game. And I was terrified of John. I mean, I was more frightened of John than I was of the opposition. Um, but he was a great captain and uh, and a great player, and, and, and just fantastic to see him here today. It just goes to show what an honour it was. You, you know, you see the quality of, of the Edinburgh captains. I look back with, with fantastically fond memories and, and, a, and a great sense of pride. You know, just the realisation that this is the oldest uh, fixture, you know, the 1872 Cup, and just, you know, that's pretty amazing. 150 years of Glasgow versus Edinburgh. Um, is is pretty amazing. So yeah, it's nice to be part of history. <laughs>